Mmm, this already looks good, Mama. Oh, well, we're here. Well, hello, <laughs> Coffee Time friends. How are you? Easy text, a little bit longer than that. Anyway, we are here, John and Mama. And this is Coffee Time, in case you didn't know where you had landed. We're having something that we've had many times on here, but we've never had it like this. This is one of those meatloafs. And like I've told you, if you say you don't like meatloaf, you just ain't put the right thing in it yet. If you like meat, then you can like meatloaf. You can make it taco. You can do anything you want to with it. We are going to use, because you all said that you all use it. Now, we don't have McCormick's, but this is... Store brand. Our store brand meatloaf seasoning mix. Mama says she had never used this before, never and have. never have. And let's let's give it a try, Mama. So I'm sure it smells like meatloaf. I'm sure it's just like the rest of them. This is a Save a Lot brand, and it's um, it says it'll fix around ten servings. So that's about what we'll have. We got two pounds of hamburger. This is not Chuck, so we don't know really what it'll do. It's right here. I it was on sale. And Mama got it. And um, it's got some directions on here on what to add. Two pounds of ground beef, two eggs, one half cup of milk, two slices of bread finely crumbled, one package of this seasoning. But we are going to add a little onion to it because that's just what we like ours. And I like ketchup in mine. And so. Mama likes ketchup. So, you know, we don't follow the rules. <laughs> but we are going to try this package. So, yeah. let me let you see, Mama. Mama's I'm just going to break up this bread and put in here. I've told you before, when we was growing up, my mommy put, did this with hamburgers. And I didn't realize it. I liked it. And I thought you had to put bread in hamburgers. But I realized later on in years, <laughs> Mommy put bread in it to stretch the meat out for all of us eight kids and her and daddy. <laughs> well, that means a good thing. And like with the hamburger, it will... And it gives it a different taste. Taste. And it does take... It binds it. And I like Now, this it. is going to have to have some cream in it, I think. I've got cream there. And I'm going to put ketchup and two eggs. I yeah. shouldn't have put my meat in here. It's what I shouldn't have done. I got ahead of myself, as you say. So what would you want to do, Mom? I'll just mix it in. You this, can mix it right there in that little divot. In that little hole there. <laughs> I'll mix it right there. Let me crank you all up just a little bit, and then maybe you can see it a little differently. My little bow to test my legs. Okay. How's that? Can you see now? So... In here is two slices of bread, Mom? Yeah, that's what it called for. I may have to add more. These are country eggs, so she's going to test them. I'm going to open up this these sweet peas. We're having um, sweet peas, green giant. Sweet peas, or I guess English peas are the same thing. And these are just right out of the can. And we're going to have We're them. not doing much cooking tonight. We're not doing a lot of cooking, but... It's getting later, and we're just trying to get a meal on the table. And this is going to be quick and easy. Won't take long at all. And we'll be eating. We're going to put this in the micro pro grill, and I'll show you that. Some of y'all had questions about that. Could you put meatloaf in there, and how do you do it? And it's very, very simple. Uh, and it cooks very quickly. Someone will ask you, this is the Tupperware can opener. It's got this big ergonomic handle on it. You see how easy it just opens that up. It unseals it. It never cuts it. It just, it has a little way of unsealing it. So there's not a blade about it. Oh, well, there you go, Mama. I'm just going to put these in a small saucepan here. I'm not measuring the cream, it's set a fourth a cup. I just now that's evaporated milk she's using, that's what cream is to us. Well it said milk, but I'm just going to... We use evaporated milk. And my meatloaf I always do. Just evaporated milk in a can. And this is the rest of those onions that we... Not waste these little days. We won't onions. waste no onion. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to hit my <laughs> <laughs> They're stuck, I see them. 
and they fell down. I'd have had a little bit of grip. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like I say, I like ketchup in my meatloaf. I don't like brown. And a little I'm bit of that paste in there? Well, I made a mess. I thought you'd use that. On the top? Because I'm wanting the brown sugar. And the oh, you want me to fancy top it? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess Did I better I get some. Tell you that? <laughs> Mama, I don't get my directions, so I show up to work. Uh, uh, do you want me to pour this in yes, now? Yes, please. Now, this is quite a bit, so I think that'll flavor really well. So, we're not going to add no salt or pepper or. Mm -mm. Mix together spices. meatloaf seasoning, ground beef. This is our first meatloaf seasoning. I, I use chili powder, chili seasoning. I think it would be good. Okay. Well, Mama, I better get some celery because this topping will call for a little bit of celery. Oh, I didn't have it out. You know what? I'm not seeing it. Oh, there's some in there, I think. Is there no celery back there? Nope. It's not good. Get some more hit away. Here you go. This angle is hard to cook with. I'm over too far, I think. I don't know. We're, we're a little off today. I'm over too far on the counter, maybe. You need the chopper to get this. No. Huh? No, I don't need it. Okay. I'm just going to stir this up for you. You're such a good fella. So, Mama, go over what you put in here so they'll all... I've got uh, two slices of bread, uh, two pounds of hamburger meat. I usually use ground chuck, but this was on special, so I got hamburger. you got to buy stuff on special these days, folks. So. I'm telling you, prices are getting outrageous. Today, gas is higher than it's ever been. I hope things calm down. We can get back to cheaper living. Cheaper. I don't believe that's coming, honey. I believe that's a thing of the past. Well. Oh, you're mixing that up so good. I'm proud of you. Well, thank you, Mama. What size kettle do you need for the that little stainless steel or one like this? For the topping? Yeah. Just about that size. We've done or that little bit bigger one. It don't matter. Won't take much because you just make enough to pour over the top. On my potatoes. This you want on your potatoes? My gravy. This ain't gravy. Oh, this is the. This is ketchup. Ketchup. No. This is Creole sauce. Creole. No, you don't want that on your potatoes, unless you want me to make brown gravy. Did I misunderstood? No, I was thinking about my gravy for my potatoes. Do you want me to make you some gravy? No, fix it. I want the brown gravy and that for my meatloaf, so don't. You want brown gravy? No. I don't think I've got the, I don't think I know the assignment. I want the meatloaf gravy. For what are you meat. calling gravy? Let's get this straight, folks. You can see <laughs> hours cool. and hours of planning goes into every meal. <laughs> All right, Mama. Do you want brown gravy over this meatloaf? No. Or you want the... The thick with the brown sugar, the brown ketchup, sugar, the ketchup. celery, and a little bit of onion. That, and I used all that onion in there. I can peel some more. I've got some So, we're not doing brown gravy on this, are we? No. Do you want brown gravy over mashed potatoes, too? No, I don't think I can make you some of it, too. Just It's not that hard to make, Mom. If you're wanting, what, do you want KFC gravy? Uh, no. No? Are you saying no to be nice or because you really don't want Well, we don't need gravy, gravy. <laughs> gravy, gravy. No, this ain't really a gravy. This won't even be a gravy. Okay, that's all mixed up. Okay, dokie. All right, let's try it. Let's see what, if I got everything. Is it, your daddy say it got everything It's coming to it. There you go. I don't think we'll need any grease, any oil, or anything. I'm no. just going to put this right in I've here. I've got the ground beef, eggs, milk, and the bread, and the 
package of seasoning and then I added my other stuff in there so it's kind All of right. we're good and we're gonna put this right in here mm -hmm. no oil no grease no nothing because it don't require it and this is going to make its own slid right out of there clean bow get that off your hand I do I got it and all you do is just mash this down in here just like this you just want to get it below that lip is all we're looking for we've made this before i know some of you already said you didn't like hamburger in the microwave i would never attempt this in anything else but it's a difference i don't know why i don't know how i'm not into the technology business but it it's as i say like downtown there's no difference in this and put it in the oven except it cooks quicker, faster, and there's less cleanup. And it just, it's easier. This is the Micro Pro Grill. You can get it at a Mama's site, Tupperware site. You see there what I did. I just put it in there, smoothed it out. And now you put your lid in there and you put it on grill. Oh, thank you, Mama. You put it on grill mode to start with. And grill mode is when it presses down in there this way so it'll brown on top it'll brown on bottom it'll cook from the top it'll cook from the bottom so when you're cooking from the top and the bottom with that thickness it doesn't take that long so we're gonna put this in there for 20 minutes and then we'll take it out and we'll give it a look see see what we got going on now that we've decided what we're cooking tonight and what kind of gravy mommy's talking about <laughs> mama are you wanting this um, you, you're wanting to just to make sure you don't want brown gravy, right? No. I believe she don't. I believe she's got it in her head what she's wanting. But now I can make you some KFC brown gravy oh. for your mashed potatoes, no problem. Like I said, we don't need all of that. Okay. Or we can make brown gravy just with that bullion and thickness. I've got a package of brown gravy. Mix, is that what you want to do? No. I'll just have my meatloaf. <laughs> Mama, you do whatever you want to do because I can make you some or not. When you said um, the tomato paste was going to here, I thought we I thought you meant this kind of gravy. Which I call this a, a Creo. Creo. We don't always do this. You've seen us do other. Sometimes we just simply um, put ketchup on top and let it bake. That's the old-fashioned, old traditional way to top a good meatloaf, and that would work. But sometimes you do want some little flavor, and since we're doing this a little different today, it's a good time to bring out a new flavor. Just going to mince this up real fine. Is that all you're going to need? I need that celery. I mean that onion. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to get this celery out of here. And I'll wash it for you. You're going to wash it? Yes, sir. Well, look at you. <laughs> it's late 30. It's time to be eating at the moment. Okay. I want this good and fine, don't want big old chunks. I want it to be about the same size. So I'm just going to chop it up here. What are y'all up to and what are you having for supper? Anybody else having meatloaf tonight? It's a meatloaf kind of night, isn't it? I should have got the chopper out. Mama, you want to hand me the little chopper? Right there beside of you? And I'll, I will put it in the little chopper because... I've got celery to do too. Sometimes I get like mama and I just keep with the knife and the board instead of using the chopper. I just do what I'm told. <laughs> it's worked so good for so long, just do what you're told. I bet I got this chopped up though, really. But the celery will be harder to chop. The what? That you want yeah, get the little one. I'll just run it through it. It'll make it really fine. Because you want 
this is one time that you really want it as fine as you can because it's the sauce. So it's you want the flavor, but you don't want big chunky chunks. So what y'all up to? Making pizza. Oh, that sounds good, uh, Deanna. I love pizza. Good homemade pizza. Hello, we had beef stew and cornbread. Oh, that's another good one, Janet. Mama, we had that in a while, either beef stew or cornbread. Uh, beans and cornbread. Oh, Mama, we're do some beans and cornbread at this household. And Mama owes some beans and cornbread. Y'all know about bartering? <laughs> Back in the old days, the bartering system. Mama, this is the wrong one. Um, I need that one right there, that red one. Sorry. Um, do y'all know? Do that all the time. Well, the red, the red one's got this little thing right here on it, and the uh, clear window. That's the only difference in them, I reckon. Um, you know, back in the olden days, you'd barter. You know, a lot of kids have been born, and the payment for the doctor was a pile or some chickens or something like that in the, in the south, and um, we barter. So, Mama's car didn't start that time. You remember when we had the back catch up and. Mama had the back catch open, and it kept saying something about a glass door. Well, that's what it was. Well, it was running her battery down after a while. So, it ran her battery down, and um, our good friend John, who does carpenter work here and other stuff, Mama calls him for anything like that. So, I wasn't here, and she called him. He came over. That's my buddy. It's her buddy. And um, he loves Mama's... Um, Pinto beans. And uh, he said, when he left, Mama said, How much do I owe you? I'm going to pay you for dragging you over. And he said, Just a little bit of beans and some and some biscuits. Now, he likes biscuits with his. So, Mama will fix him a pound of biscuit bread and some beans for his services of coming over and starting her car. And uh, I told him, he came back. He's been here since then. I said, You better hold her to it. She'll try to get out of it. He said, No, she won't either. He took up four just right down the line, didn't he, Mama? Oh, yeah. John's a good one. He calls himself a... Number one son. Number one son. And somebody's got that way too full, I believe. I probably have, Mama, because you know I like to do that. <laughs> Let's see. Well, you how's the onions that's chopped? They were already chopped. Hello, Jim Davis. Thank you for watching. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Krista. Tupperware site. What is her Tupperware site? Deborah, it's on about every post that we make, and I will put it on this one at the bottom. It's, it's, her name is Frances Davis. So when you go into Tupperware and you see Frances Davis, you're at the right spot. And uh, she will she will have one of those micro programs right in there. Now, what I'm doing is shaking this down. That's all I'm doing is just to get it off. You really probably wouldn't have to do that. There it is. This is going to be perfect. I should have got this up the whole time. Look at that. How wonderful. Oh, wow. Speaking of our Tupperware site, y'all are doing something just stupid and you're like, how was I just not paying attention or what? So let me tell you what I did last night. Mama's business director, Miss Judy, she posts stuff on the main website of her business all the time, and she tells us, you know, that's you know with the pictures I post sometimes. She'll say, "Well, you can just copy those and put those on your own site." So I did the grilling thing. So I put Mama's link under there. Twice. And went to church, come back from church, and I was looking at it and I thought, where's the link? It should be under here. It's gone. It's just come off. I don't know. Maybe I didn't upload it right. So I just popped it back on there two more times, just like I had before. And I get an email from Miss Judy. She said, John, Judy's very sweet, very gracious. She wouldn't have embarrassed me, but I was embarrassed. John, I think you might have accidentally <laughs> posted your site, Mama's site, on the, on the main page. Main Tupperware page. Now, who does that kind of stuff? 
Johnny does. Me. So I was embarrassed to death. And then I looked, and mine was on there where, where I thought it was. But when I first seen it, I was looking at hers. I thought it was mine. And I accidentally done that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the only one that goofs in my... No, Mama, you're not. There it is. All minced up. Perfect. You want that as fine as you can get it. And that's this is the little chopper from Tupperware. And I just put it up. No, that's okay. They sing it. And uh, that's the little chopper from Tupperware. Uh, like it's a different name now, but you'll find it on there. So this was two. I always get this wrong. Y'all watch me. It was two ribs of celery, two small ribs, wasn't very big, and it was one slice of onion finely diced. And by slice, I just sliced it. And it was a Vidalia. So that's what's in this pot, folks. Now I'm gonna put. Two tablespoons, I'm not using real measure, I'm just using this. One, two of brown sugar. That's it. There's a real recipe for this somewhere. You don't know where? And I don't know where. There's another season that goes in it. But this is why I usually make it. So y'all will just have to watch the usual. <laughs> and I'm going to put about a half of a cup of ketchup in there. Mama said use some of this paste. Don't waste. Use the paste. So this will just give it a little extra taste. And it is good in it. When do we have that old hot dog chili? I'll start saying, why do we have that open? That for? paste? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Mama, they make tubes of this, but this baggie ain't doing the trick. So I put about a good tablespoon of paste this is just out of the little can. And that's all I put in it, and I put salt and pepper. No other seasoning. Well, you can put nature seasoning in it, or you can put, but there is a real recipe for it. I have. But when I've not looked at the real recipe in so long, because right here is what I use is put together. And that's some fresh ground black pepper. That's just McCormick pepper. Now I'm just going to mix this all up good. And we're going to go ahead and start it cooking. I may look and see if I missed an ingredient that I usually put in here. You can put garlic in it. Like everything, there's always a variation. Do we need this meat loaf seasoned package in here? Show them that, aren't you? Yeah, it's just our store brand. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this ketchup in there because there's not really enough to put back in the cabinet. Do you all put your ketchup in the refrigerator or do you put it in the cabinet? Do you know there's a whole bunch of stuff that we probably are wasting refrigerator space for and it does change the taste. We kept, Mama kept ketchup in the refrigerator my whole life. Once we opened it, we went in the refrigerator. And uh, I read something that said people are wasting space with in the refrigerator with their ketchup and that stuff in mustard. And I get and it gave an example. It said you never go in a restaurant; they're always out on the table. Your ketchup and mustard stays on the table. It don't go in the refrigerator. And I got to thinking, you know, it's true. Well, I read a whole bunch of other stuff, you know, like some pickles and other things. You don't have to have everything refrigerated. Yeah, it needed that extra ketchup. So what I tell y'all, half a cup. So put about three-fourths of a cup of ketchup. Because I can tell by the color. Alright, mama. So there's the color. And this is just a little version of our Creole sauce. Now you can put some Worcestershire in there. But mama don't like it. And stuff like that. She'll eat it. Now mama will eat it on um, Chex Mix. Yum. That looks good. It is good. It's good on top of the meatloaf. Uh, keep mine in the fridge, do you, Pamela? We did for 110 years. It's just really been in the last year that we tried it. And we like the taste of it better. Uh, when you put it in the refrigerator, you know, tomatoes in the refrigerator do lose their flavor. And uh, the ketchup tastes much better. 
out of the refrigerator. Now, we're not making any recommendations, and I'm not a doctor or any of that stuff, so y'all do you. But we have, in the last year, kept it in the cabinet. We buy the big bottles. It lasts until it's gone, and we've never had any problem here with Mama. No, but it was hard for me not to put it. It's it hard for it. Mama. Look at my new mug we got the other day. Folks, this is a jumbo mug. Look. And in the letter, he said that this was... This is a picture of when Mama was rationing me on crackers. See that cracker tube right there? So Mama was on going to let me have five crackers. Y'all remember that night? I remembered it when he wrote it in the letter. You said that. <laughs> but I was only going to let you. And then this is a picture of when she... See her little uh, y'all sweet tea? And she splattered it all over me. <laughs> and this is the picture when I said, Mama, you trying to baptize me in tea? So he put that in the letter. I read it later. <laughs> And I thought that was so neat. And it's got these leaves and nuts and all this stuff around it. It's, it's so beautiful. Pretty. And tell them what it says in the center. And in the center it says, Blessed John and Mama. Yes. Now I say this is my mug. But Mama can use it anytime she wants to. But and I want it's to, big. I want to apologize for that and the potato peeler that uh, they sent me because. Uh, Mama, get me camera. Uh, I don't was so excited about getting them and I'm not usually the one at the camera talking and I don't know if I said thank you for all of that. I don't believe I did. I worried about that through the night last night. Did I even say the words thank you? But I will today. Thank you so much. I love it. This is just precious to me, this cup. I'll thank get to use it a time or two and it'll disappear. No, I wouldn't do you that way. Yes, it does. Now, I'm going to tell you, y'all <laughs> send those mugs with our pictures on it, and I'll use them, because I'm all about using stuff. I'm not about fancy dishes or special nothing. Gonna, Every day's a special he's day. He's going to tell you that I don't let him use them just because this one's still sitting over here with their names in it. <laughs> so and I'll today. use it. I used that one once. And... Um, I said, where's the mug, Mama? Oh, um, I put it over here in the china cabinet. I put it up here on this shelf so I can look Mama at it. loves it. Okay. Mama is very appreciative of anything and everything. Aren't you, Mama? Oh, yeah. And I do apologize if I didn't say thank you. Thank you for those. Good we appreciate everything. all of y'all for sending anything y'all sent. We enjoy it. We treasure it. We use it. We love it. And Maggie says, thank you. Thank you for the pepperonis. She thanks you all every night before she goes to bed. We have our routines. Maggie, I don't know if it was the coyote attack. That would scare me. But Maggie goes out at night sometimes, and I have to go out with her, which I would anyway. But um, if she even thinks that we're not going to stay with her, she gets nervous and she won't take care of her business. And she'll just kind of stand, kind of frozen to look around. And I think it's at night here in the country. There's a lot of frog sounds and a lot of chirping and a lot of owls and different noises. And I think every time one of them makes a noise, it distracts her. So we would be out there some nights, like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And, then, you know, in the summer, it ain't so bad. I'll sit on the porch, let her stay. But in the winter, it's a little cold. And um, so... I started giving her a treat on the night she really did good and, you know, and, and accepted my encouragement. I don't ever holler at her or nothing. I'll say, Maggie, honey, go potty. Go on. It's good. I'm here. Go on. Sometimes that works, but sometimes she just stands and looks at me like, no, you'll leave. I ain't, I ain't moving from this spot. I'm going to sit right here and watch you. <laughs> Mama, what'd you do? I spilled some grease. Do you need my help? She's pouring the grease off the meatloaf. Now, we expected grease on the meatloaf tonight because we use hamburger, not check. And y'all know when she made the hot dogs the other day, it got real watery. So, we don't know. Maybe that's the reason it was on sale. But anyway, she's pouring off the liquid and she's going to put it back in the microwave. You're going to... you? Did you get grease on the floor, Mama? I got a little speck. Will you watch it? I'm Bring it over here and let's look at it. Anyway, so the night she would do really, really good and quick and listen to me, I'd give her a treat. Well, she got on to that. 
and now she goes out, does her thing, she comes back, she gets a treat. So about every night on the lead. See how Oh yeah, Mama. Yeah. That meat is a little See how much it's went down. So here, yeah, it's shrunk. That's the meatloaf, folks, and it, it smells wonderful. Meat. But see how lovely brown it is there? See that browning? Look how much it shrank. But um, it smells so good. And people, I am a, I'm a hard one. I'm like mama. I'm hard-headed. I'm a hard one to convince. But this is not rubbery. It's just as good. And mama would tell you all how picky mama is. I see it like a little over three minutes. Do you think this is um, rubbery or anything, Mama? No. Our hamburgers have never been that good. Our hamburgers are delicious. The meatloaf is delicious. We don't have any problems. Let's see where we are with this. It's been in there, what, 18 minutes? Uh, no, I just put, what? <laughs> How many minutes did you put in the food? 20. 20. It's been in our uh, 16 minutes. 16 minutes. All right, so it's been there 16 minutes. It appears to be done. I'm going to temp it, see what it says. It's done. It's it's 196 already. Oh, well. You want me to turn this on? Yeah, it's 195 instantly. It's 195, 97, 98, 98. It's 200 degrees. 201. It's climbing. Oh my goodness. So, let's, is the Creo boiled? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put the Creo on here. No. No, I got it right here. So, this is the Creo. As you can see, it's bubbling good. Look how good that is. Oh, it smells so wonderful. So what you do now, after you pour your water and your grease off, and the meatloaf is done, it's brown, and it's brown on bottom too. It looks just on the bottom, just like it does on top. Can y'all see? I'm going to tear it off. Just take my word for it. It looks just like it does right there. And now all you do is just pour your Creo right over top of your sauce or your ketchup. If you just want to put ketchup on here, this would be great. Same system. So this is 18 minute meatloaf. And it's done. 200 degrees. It's not overcooked. It's not rubbery. It's not tough. I got your brown sugar spoon. Oh. And all I'm going to do is put this right down over here. Just like that. Now it's already cooked. It's already done its thing. Mama, did you take the lid already to this? I just set it over here. You want it back? Yeah, we're going to put it back in the microwave for just about three minutes. Mama's cleaning up, folks. I just lay it over here and let it the side. You don't have to put it. Put it on casserole. No, casserole's the other way. That way right there. It'll hold up on the lip there. It was. Now we'll put it back in the microwave for about three minutes just to let that cook on there. That water was coming out of our so strong. <laughs> Now these are just a little warm. They're not made to be able to touch like I am. But I have... I touch hot stuff like that so long. I don't even pay it any mind anymore. But anyway. We're going to have meatloaf in 18, 19, 20 minutes, 21 minutes. That's pretty good, folks. And that's the beauty of the Micro Pro Grill. It's home cooking almost as quick as frozen pizza or something. That's that's a time saver. And anytime I can save time, I'm buying it's time is so valuable. 
I mean, what is the value of, you know, that size meatloaf in the oven regular, we would cook it 45 minutes. To an hour. To an hour. Mama's right. So, that's the reason we like it. We like southern cooking, but we like a few southern shortcuts, too. Mama, I didn't better your bros. Um, I need to get you a knife and a better over here. Oh. I you want to mash these potatoes? The. Oh, I said it over there, but evidently I, I, know. I, I left it sitting right Do you want some brown gravy for these? No. I no. feel bad, like you wanted it and didn't get it. No. I just seen it on that package. Uh, <laughs> Crazy over the potatoes. But I'd have this it. is just mashed potatoes. We mash them. We don't want to blend them. Potatoes are a lot like flour. When you're making biscuits, you don't want to overwork them. You few lumps are not going to hurt a thing, and you don't want to overwork them. You want them to be. Um, I said, just leave a few lumps, and they know they're the real McCoy. <laughs> that's right. You don't want to overwork them. You want them to be uh, not too starchy. You ever have uh, potatoes that are waxy or sticky? You've overworked them. Um, you pour the, most of the starch water off, but you've overworked your potatoes if they're sticky or pasty, I should say. And another thing, I don't know if y'all knew this, you probably do. I don't know who may know or who may not know. This is about two tablespoons of butter that I'm putting in here total. Whatever you have right now, at this point, in your potatoes, as far as the smoothness or the texture of them, I have seen people put their potatoes, put their butter, put their cr cream or their milk in there. You want to get them to where you want them before you put your cream. Uh, because once you put your cream, that's it. That's not enough. Oh, you need more. Well, Mama, that ain't even a... Oh, you used it in your... I used it in my meatloaf. You used it in the meatloaf, Mama. That's you, uh, you want your potatoes to be the consistency you want them before you put your milk product in there. Some of y'all probably use 2% or whole milk and that's good. We use evaporated milk. We call them cream, we call them cream potatoes. Because we use what we call cream. And the can used to say cream. There we go. Yeah. See those are smooth enough without a blender. Do y'all have one of these? That's what we open our cream cans with. Evaporated milk cans. Is that what they used to call the beer opener? A beer opener? I guess beer cans used to be like this, didn't they? With no pull tabs. Oh, no, they didn't have pull tabs. We didn't have pull tabs on nothing. Now about everything has a pull tab. Now these potatoes, I'm making them soupier than I want to serve them. Uh, with the cream. They're a little thinner than what I want to put on the plate. But within three minutes, they'll tighten up and you'll have good mashed potatoes. If you put enough cream in them, they'll even be good left over. You can use them uh, even left over. And the next day, they'll still be creamy. You see that? They're already tightening up, doing a good job. Here, Mama, I'll come get the meatloaf. I don't want you doing that again. There's the cream. You gonna give me oven mitts this time? Yeah, you don't have. Oh, or how fancy! I don't always get oven mitts. Oh, you do get oven mitts. Trying to make people feel sorry for you. Is it working? No, not really. You need to scrape that off the top. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. We'll be right back, folks. Don't don't think we've left you. Okay. Some of it did get on here, but it just came right off. Oops. All right. That's that. Dinner is served. And y'all been here for the whole thing. So I don't know how long we've been on here. Get a spoon for the potatoes. I stole your dish rag. Yeah. 
And, and uh, forks if you want and fork. Oh, how about we'll use these right here you already put on the plate. I'm used to laying here on the napkin. We paused, but we're back. Thank you, Lord. I didn't, it didn't take long. That's a good thing. Let me show you the meatloaf. This is the finished product. Don't need that spatula. See how the Creole kind of just tightened up on there? Delicious. I might need that spatula. I'm just going to dip us out some. You want tea or you're drinking coffee? I am drinking coffee, but Mama, if you're going to eat... Now, here's the bottom. I'm going to show you. See, it's browned on bottom, browned on top, and look here in the middle. It's done. That's real meatloaf, folks. Just like downtown. Just like downtown meatloaf. Good and good for ya. We love meatloaf. I'm anxious to try this. It may taste totally different than what our usual meatloaf is. And it would be good to see. Maybe we like it better. And you know, those packets that they provide in the stores. Mama, get the English peas there. The packets they provide in the stores are a good shortcut if you like them. So, I'm all for that. Mom, I still feel bad about the brown gravy. No, here you go. And I'll get us some tea. I feel like you wanted it. I'll make you some. Do y'all like peas? This is our standard meal. If Mama tells me we're having meatloaf, she don't have to say another word. Because I know we're having meatloaf, peas, rolls, and mashed potatoes. If she's, she's gonna she's gonna make noise. If she says we're having pork chops, then I know we're having pork chops, pork and beans, and mashed potatoes. And light bread usually with that meal. I don't know how we got into that. Um, but we always have light bread, just white light bread with our pork chops. Usually, unless mama makes is it the cr the cr crescent, um, crescent rolls. Crescent rolls. I never can get crescent right. Let's use a croissant or something. There you go. Well, thank you, Mama. Y'all, sweet tea. Yeah. So good. We thank you, y'all, for sending us that tea. Very gracious of you. Minute made or not? No. I'm going without lemon tonight, Mama. Oh, good. There you go. I just want to taste that tea. Taste the tea tea. Taste that tea. This is sweet tea. I like plain tea. Just plain, plain tea. Now, y'all, sweet tea is the name. You have to put sugar in to make it sweet. So if you think, oh, I can't drink that because I can't do sweet, you have to do it yourself. Mama, I don't know why my camera skills are off tonight. I told you I messed up by being in the wrong I spot. I wanted to see like... your plate. Oh, wow. Well. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we're going to bless our food and then we're going to taste it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. And dear Lord, we just ask you to put a hedge of protection about us. Watch over us, lead, guide, and direct us. And Lord, be with each and every prayer request that's turned in, those that are mentioned and those that are unspoken, dear Lord. You know all about them. You have the answers in your time and your glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, here's the big test, folks. Let's try this meatloaf. Oh, boy. Mm, it's firm. It's holding together beautifully. Two eggs will do that. Look at that. It's hot. Pretty good. It's really good. I like the flavor. Let's try just the sauce. I don't think I missed anything that we normally put. Oh, it's perfect. Is that the sauce you wanted, Mama? Mm-hmm. You didn't get no brown gravy. I was trying the meatloaf without the sauce on top of it. Mm-hmm. And it's good. Well, let me try it. I didn't really think about that, Mama. 
You just mean the flavor of just the meat? Yeah. Of the side, you know, the package. It's good. That's a do again. We'll do that again. Thank you all for whoever said that. You know, you get into a, I guess, a rut or a habit of how you fix everything. And y'all may think we're not listening to y'all, but we are. Uh, somebody said, I always put a McCormick, I think they said, meatloaf seasoning in. And we'll try McCormick when we get to the big store. But Mama just picked that up today, yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. And she said, I'm going to try that. And so let's try it. So we're happy to report it's very good. Okay. Uh, we're freezing up. Oh, no. Whenever I cook meatloaf, we always have something. Oh, green peas and mashed potatoes with it. Isn't that a standard um, flow? I think everybody has that. A lot of people do. Some people have mac uh, macaroni and cheese instead of meat, instead of in mashed potatoes. In school, when I was even in high school and stuff, in the upper grade schools, because we didn't have a kitchen in the lower grades where I went to school, uh, that was what they served. What? Peas and? Peas. That's what I remember in school. And their meatloaf, and they made a gravy like, but it was a pinky colored. You remember it? Okay. No. Yeah, oh, maybe yeah. pour it over the meatloaf? Yeah. I it probably told them no gravy. <laughs> I don't it think I want that gravy. It wasn't like this. It was, uh, I guess, just tomato sauce over the, cooked over the meat. Folks, we're going to go. Heinz Bottles says refrigerate after opening. Does it? Who said that? Gary? No, Gala. Gala, if it says it, you better do it. But uh, I've not read our bottle. Did you read our bottle, Mom? No, I threw that in the garbage because it was empty. <laughs> Heinz is what we use. We haven't been doing it for over a year now, and I like the flavor of it better, so I think I'll risk it. But if you think it is... By all means, do it because I guess you should. I always well. refrigerate everything after I open it before. All jellies, all mustards, anything like that, pickles, mm -hmm. everything. But a lot of things don't have to be because they got enough content in them. So I don't know. Like I said, we're not experts on it. We're not making any recommendations to y'all. We're just saying that's what we've done. And I'm just wondering if you all did. Hunts has a meatloaf fixings. In a can. Well, Kim will have to look at that too. I'm all for trying anything different. Sometimes I like two or three. I like something fixed two or three different ways. Macaroni salad. I love Mama's macaroni salad. I love my macaroni salad. I love. Um, there's a girl at our church. She brings it. I love hers every time. I just like different flavors. So it can be different flavors, and I like them all. As someone said one night, I think it was Sherry. I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we're going to go. We're going to say good night. And it's 730. It's a little later than normal. But uh, the sun's still up and going to be up for a couple of hours. So I'm going to go out and sit on the porch. Mama is working on those flowers. It won't be long. She'll show you what all she's been doing. And uh, out in front, maybe Sunday we can do a little flower. Maybe there won't be any snakes. Mmm. I forgot about that. It was Mama's idea to go up there and show you the roses. In case you didn't see Sunday's video, I was showing the roses in the banana tree. And here Mr. come Longfellow. Mr. Longfellow up the yard, black snake. It's not dangerous, and they're helpful, so. My daddy never would let you kill a black snake. So maybe he's protecting somebody somewhere a hundred miles from here. <laughs> we'll see. Folks, y'all have a wonderful night and each is some, find you something good to eat. Make you some memories. And uh, say good night, Mama. Mm. Bad timing. <laughs> say mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got it eight now. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
he should look at me now I was seven, eighty. <laughs> Good night, Mama. God bless you. So, bye bye. Bye. Y'all have a great night. It's been great being with y'all tonight. Bye. Bye bye.